All right, just gonna do another video debunking Ed Fenninger's satanic heresy that salvation has always been by faith alone and it'll be by faith alone in the time of Jacob's trouble. This is a very, very satanic, damnable heresy. And it's very, very dangerous too because you're getting people to think they can take their mark and he addresses that in the video, but it doesn't seem to leave a key question, which I'll address in this video. So here's the clip. Page uh, 81, any teaching that distracts from Christ's sacrifice on the cross is of satanic origin and contrib con uh, contributes to the future deception. Those today proclaiming a false gospel for the future are potentially condemning souls to hell through the falsehoods they pro propagate. If you are here during the horrendous period, do not let, these, let the false teaching deceive you. Man's only, capital letters, means of salvation remains trusting in Jesus' sacrificial atonement. Now you wonder why I get upset with these guys like, you know, from the Ruckman School, uh, like uh, uh, John Davis and uh, Breaker, Sluder, uh, Brian Dangler, he used to be part of the Ruckman School, he's gone on his own little tangent, even more bizarre. Uh, Gene Kim. That's, they're teaching a false go a gospel for the future. Because they're teaching a false gospel for the past, they're teaching for, for, a, a false gospel for the future. And that's why I don't give them a cre any credit for teaching a true gospel for this, this dispensation. Because they're doing damage in the future. And they won't repent of it. They won't repent of it. I've got some works I'm going to show you where they contradict themselves and lie about what they're teaching. Now, of course, they come against us, the faith alone people, and say we're the ones that are going to condemn people because they think, you know, people take take the mark thinking they have eternal security. But they won't take the mark, actually, uh, because uh, they be, won't be deceived into taking the mark. Ed Fenning is such a heretic. Here's some scriptures he cannot handle or answer. He'll twist the scriptures to say, well, it's not saying that technically. Here's a good verse to use against them. And they use against these heretics who say salvation is always by faith alone in the time of Jacob's trouble in the Old Testament. It's a satanic heresy. Very, very satanic. And I say it's satanic because it's a plain denial of God's word. Matthew chapter 25, verse 31 to 46. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall sit on, he shall sit upon the throne of his glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall, he shall separate them one from the other, as a shepherd divide, deviseth, divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. And then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick. And ye visited me, I was in prison, and ye came unto me. And the righteous, then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when, say, when saw we thee, and hungered, and fed thee, are thirsty, and gave thee drink? Uh, or when saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer, and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, insomuch as ye have done it unto one, of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Verse 41. Then shall, then shall he say unto them on his left hand, Depart ye from me, ye curse, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in. Naked, and ye, clo and ye clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and ye visited me not. And uh, then... Uh, then shall they answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee hunger, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, insomuch as ye did it not uh, to one of these, uh, least of sorry, least of these, ye did it not unto me, did it not to me, and these shall go away into everlasting punishment, and the righteous into life eternal. Not good at reading on a computer, but notice this. Where is faith mentioned anywhere in this passage? Where is faith in Jesus Christ mentioned? Um, there is zero mention of faith anywhere in this passage. Uh, it was all works. 
all works at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble. Not a single mention of faith mentioned. Not a single mention of faith in Jesus Christ and the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. It was all works. Answer that one, you non-dispensational heretics. Next scripture, Revelation chapter 3, verses 2 to 5. Another good one to use against these heretics who say salvation is always by faith alone. Revelation 2, verses 3 to 5. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and uh, thou shalt not know what hour I, c I will come upon thee. These hast, that thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Notice this. What does it mean to be blotted out of the book of life? In order for you to be blotted out of the book of life, your name has to have first been in there originally. Okay? Your works have to be perfect before God, and you have to overcome for your name not to be blotted out of the book of life. Again, I have not found that works perfect before God. Again, where is faith mentioned? Where is faith in Jesus Christ mentioned? You know, where is sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day of redemption, Ephesians 1.13? Where is that mentioned? It was works. You had to overcome. You had to, your works had to be found perfect before God in order to not be blotted out of the book of life. And again, I'll repeat this. In order to be blotted out of the book of life, your name has to have originally been in the book of life. Meaning, you, you basically can lose your salvation. That's simple. Because if, you, if you're going to be blotted out of something, you have to have first been in there. So that means you can lose your salvation. Because you can be blotted out. That simple. And here's the infamous Revelation 14, 9 through 11. The one that Fenninger cannot handle and has a twist and, and contort to teach his heresy. Revelation 14, 9 through 11. And a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture, into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, for they have, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Now the heretic Ed Fenninger, he claims that no true, no true Christians will be deceived in taking the mark. But again, that doesn't answer this important question. What happens if a tr true Christian in this time period knows it's the mark and takes it willingly, willfully takes it anyway? Are they still saved? Because Revelation 14, 9-11 says if any man, not just unsaved people, any man takes the mark. There's no distinction between saved and lost. So again, if a saved person willingly takes the mark anyway... Knowing it's a mark, which it takes it anyway, are they still saved? Answer that question. If you answer yes, then you're calling God a liar in Revelation 14, 9 through 11. Because I saw this heretic, Jack Smack 7, 7. He's like, salvation is not by refusing the mark of the beast. So if you can take the mark of the beast and still be saved, you're calling God a liar in Revelation 14, 9 through 11. Answer that question. So that'll be it for this video, responding to this satanic heretic, heretic Ed Fenninger, propagating this satanic demonic heresy that salvation is by faith alone in the time of Jacob's trouble. Mark my words, it is satanic. Right now, you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. You cannot lose your salvation. You can see Ephesians 1.13, Ephesians 4.30, and 2 Corinthians 1, 21 and 22, and many other scriptures too that talk about you're, you're sealed, you cannot lose your salvation. But this is not the case in the time of Jacob's trouble. You have to overcome. You have to, your works have to be found, be found perfect before God. You have to. You can't take the mark of the beast. It's not the same salvation. And saying it is 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 a very serious heresy and it's very dangerous because you're going to get people thinking they can take the mark of the beast because after all, I'm sealed with the Holy Spirit. Ephesians one thirteen. Very very satanic heresy. Very wicked. What Fenninger is preaching right now. He is a satanic heretic. So don't be deceived by Fenninger and don't be deceived by his Fenningerite cult. This. Uh, professing dispensationalism. Oh, salvation. True dispensationalism always taught salvation by faith alone. It's a lie. Okay? True dispensationalism rejects salvation by faith alone in every dispensation. That's a heresy. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.